without uh, further delay, um, I'd actually skip the introduction, but just to give you an idea that he is a Discover Yourself uh, trainer in different parts of the world. With that, I'd like to invite uh, Brother Sadatullah Khan for the topic Disintegration of Better Halves. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wal asar inna al-insana lafi khusr illa al-lazina amanu wa amilu salihati wa tawasaw bil haq wa tawasaw bil sabr. I swear by the declining day, man is at a loss. Save those who have belief, faith, and the salih actions, actions that Allah loves. And then invite people to truth, invite people to haq. Invite people to reality and then counsel them to be steadfast. Rabbi Shrali Sadri Vasili Amri Wala Ukdatam Milisani of Kavli. I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving me this opportunity to be here with you. I have been experiencing from past 13 years by holding workshops to discover yourself. In this workshop, most of the participants are couples married people, families, wherein we see a very, very downfall in the character, in the morals, in the humanity is disappearing. And only today, everybody, everyone I find is self-centered, selfish, and attitude of I don't care has come inside. When I ask someone, why are you getting married? It is today like I'm getting married to be divorced. Today, the marriages are being sold for a very cheap reasons, silly reasons, you can say. It looks silly to the outsiders, to us, we can laugh, but it is very, very significant for the couple. I have seen hundreds and hundreds of couples whom I've been counseling, whom I've been dealing with, who are going through a lot of hell, we can say, in trauma, in going through disintegrations, and not only the new couples, but also the older ones are going through. As I just have been given five to seven minutes, I cannot do justice to this topic. But I can say that today it has become very common, it was uncommon in Muslim society of divorce. Today it is like young girls come and say, this is my third divorce. She says, I said, are you telling your decrees or what are you talking about? And Muslim, someone, she comes and introduces me, this is my fourth husband. And us parents, parents thought that once our daughters are getting married off, we'll be freed. No. A further burden has come to the parents. And all this, I can go on explaining you the reasons and causes and this thing, and what's going on between the families. Only Islam has become only rituals. And people who have been very religious also have found them the most difficult thing to tolerate. And intolerance have entered everyone. And there is integration, disintegration, even in the religious people also. It has swooped all the whole of the family, not only the Indians, Asians, Africans, you say Europeans, everywhere have traveled. Everyone is going through a trauma. And today young girls are fearing to get married. And they're getting educated. Highly education has come into this thing, and there is no match for the boys are not getting educated, and there have been no problem. And the girls are today educated, and today they have been independent, and they've got a lot of freedom with the parents. And when they get married, they want the same freedom, independent, and that is not been given in the spouses' families, and so there are divorces happening. And most causes of the divorces in, you can find in the family is the blaming, complaining. And then there is, I am right, my way is the right way. The husband wants the wife to follow his way and the wife wants to follow her way. And if they don't follow each way, the my way is the highway and there's a disintegration. And what is the cause of the problem is usually the, we are fine. The target of the problem is they say it is they. Blame game is going on. And you think that whatever I am going through, it is because of her, it is because of him. But they can't see that the truth is every human being here is creating their own problem and they cannot see that they are creating their own problem. And that is the truth, that is the fact. 
because they can't see it, they are blind, and that's where they are in the state of delusion, illusion, deception, and they are in that world of batil, and they feel that all that problem is there, out there, and they look for solutions out there to change the spouse, to change the situation, they work on that. That is the where the whole situation is stagnant and integral. The problem is not there, the problem is here. When I look that the problem is here, then I can change something to do. Then I take the responsibility to my marriage, what I can do for it, what can I do? This is where the whole responsibility is not there. Either of the spouse, we can see that. And a lot of issues that are going on, not only the younger couples, there are reasons even before the marriage happening, the marriages are broken up. And the cause is the whole one point, I can say the cause of all the divorces is denial. There is no submission at all. The elder generation of the parents, your father, your grandfather, your mother, is this thing, they were submissive, they were tolerant, they were there, but this new generation are not submissive, they are independent, they deny every point. So denial is the cause of all these problems in the marriage. Once you deny, then the whole problem starts. It is externally, we accept everything. In the externally, we say, I accept you as my wife, as this thing. External acceptation is there, submission. But internal, they says, why did Allah give me this spouse? The inner denial is the cause of all this suffering. What do I have? Why did I do to get this kind of spouse? What I do, deserve it. And they are in love with someone, the parents get married to someone, they say, I, they deny it. So, the denial is the cause of all the problems, and the denial is not external, the denial is internal. The denial is internal, is questioning yourself, why do I deserve this? Why do I have to go through this? And this denial is the cause and if one's able to see that denial and deal with the reality, and once you deal with the reality, any problem, any issue these spouses are going through can be dealt, can be solved, can be done clearly. But when you are denying, nothing can be done and only accept the solution for is divorce and separation. And separation and divorce is not the solution for all the problems. And there is a solution, it's possible. And Allah has given us a way of life. Islam is a way of life. It's not rituals, it's a way of life of submission. Submission to the will of God, submission to reality, submission to haq, accepting the truth, this is it. This is what it is. This is how my husband is. This is how my wife is. Accepting it and dealing with it. And unless you do not submit and accept, this is it, but most of it says, no, this is not it. Then you have to have a change. So I welcome you to see in your life, to have the way of life is okay. This is it. This is how my spouse is. Now what can we do? Once you submit and accept, what you don't submit and accept and acknowledge, you cannot change. So change can happen outside when you submit and accept. So acceptance, submission, a way of life, can solve all the problems and is one stop solution to all the problems in this universe, in this world of mankind. Thank you very much.